In this problem, we're going to prove this equation. Let's go ahead and go through it. Proof. So we'll start by writing down um, the left-hand side, and then we'll just work our way through it and hopefully reach uh, what's over here on the right. So we have the finite sum as j runs from 1 to capital N of xj minus 1 and it's being squared. So this is equal to the finite sum as j runs from 1 to n. And now we can multiply this out. Um, basically, there's a formula. If you have a minus b squared, you square the first one, so a squared. You multiply these two and you double them, so minus 2ab. And then you put plus, and then you square the last one. So here we'll square the xj. So xj squared minus 2 times 1 times xj. That'll just be 2xj. And then plus the last one squared, which is just 1, because 1 squared is 1. Again, just applying this formula to um, this quantity here, squaring the first one, multiplying the 1 and the x sub j, um, and then times 2, so minus 2xj, plus 1 squared, which is 1. So now we have um, three pieces, so we can break this up into um, three sums. So this is the sum as j runs from 1 to n of xj squared. I believe that's with our first term. Yeah, that's good. So we're getting there. And then minus the sum of 2xj. And you could pull the 2 out, but I just wanted to do it in an extra step. But you could skip this step and put the 2 on the outside. That's totally OK. And then plus the sum as j runs from 1 to n of the number 1. OK, we're almost there. So this is going to stay the same. This is the sum as j runs from 1 to n of x sub j squared. Let's go ahead and pull that 2 out. So minus 2 sum as j runs from 1 to n of x sub j. And then uh, we're adding up 1 n times. That's just going to be n. Right, because it's 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. There's n of them, so you just get n. And that completes the proof, right? That is uh, what we were trying to show. Let's just go back up and double check. Yep, that's exactly what we were trying to show. So yeah, not too bad. So basically, just a quick recap. You, you start by writing down your left-hand side, and then just apply this formula, okay, and um, multiply it out. And then break this up into three sums, so 1, 2, 3. And then here, we could have skipped a step and put the 2 outside. And then uh, we did it in this step here, going from here to here. And then we got this because we just kept adding up 1 over and over again, right? If you had, like, just to make sure you get it, let's say you had j equals 1 to 3. So you plug in 1, you get 1. You plug in 2, you get 1. You plug in 3, you get 1. Oh, look, 1, 2, 3. 3. So whatever number you have here, if you have 1, um, that's how many 1s you'll get. So if you have 4 here, you'll get 4. If you have 5 here, you'll get 5. You have an N, so we get N. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.